Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about a tool that is essential to have in your household. So everybody knows about the drill, the heel saw, and the jigsaw. An impact from time to time can come in really handy. But we're going to be talking about something else. We're talking about a tool that's essential for a homeowner, not something that you make your money with. What we're talking about is an angle grinder. Even though I use all these tools and also probably maybe addicted to tools, I still don't consider myself a professional when it comes to one of these. This is not a tool I use often. It's very little thought about, but every time I grab for it, I'm glad I have it. So in this case, I would consider myself a homeowner and not a tradesperson when it comes to having this. And this is where this perspective comes from. It comes from a homeowner's perspective, me. I might not use this all the time. I might use this only once a year. I might even skip a whole year before I ever grab this tool. But this is one of those tools that you wanna take your time, go find a deal and have it before you need it. I've done a couple of projects from time to time, cutting some metal bars for my father-in-law, making a riving knife for my table saw, and different things like that with this grinder. Sure, a lot of tools can cut a lot of metal but something a grinder can do better than any other tool is cut stainless steel. Recently, I was at my neighbor's and they needed to cut an opening into this closed hook. Well, now it's a hook. I've got some pretty insane tools in my collection, but what I did not have was something to cut stainless steel. I tried my jigsaw, I tried my reciprocating saw. I even tried to bend this out with my channel locks. After trying all my different tools, even this bandsaw, I suddenly remembered that I had a grinder. This thing doesn't get a lot of use, like I said, but when you need it, it's invaluable. This is one of those tools that you can take your time finding, get a good deal on. It doesn't have to be the most powerful. I've had this grinder since 2012. It's brushed, it's not the fuel version, and it doesn't have a whole lot of power, but it still gets the job done. We need to cut an opening in this to hang a punching bag and this was the tool for the job. This abrasive metal cutoff wheel made quick work of this stainless steel hook. Don't forget to wear gloves because this gets hot. Make sure you're not throwing your sparks on anything that could combust. We're hearing protection and safety glasses, maybe even a face shield. Make sure you're wearing closed toe shoes as well. And for good measure, make sure you have a fire extinguisher close by. With all that in place, you're ready to start cutting. But you can't start cutting unless you have one of these. So go to the store, and go get one. Remember, it doesn't have to be the most powerful. This thing is an absolute piece of garbage, but it gets the job done that I need. I don't use it often, and I don't need anything else. So let me know what you think in the comments below. How often do you use your angle grinder as a homeowner? And remember, I don't use one of these often, so you guys leave in the comments below as well what works good for cutting what materials. What kind of wheels do you like to use? What's the thickness? I'm really curious to know. It's videos like this, they get the education out so people can be safer, work more efficiently, and get the job done safely. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.